Love and light everyone. Brian here at Redley Ranch. It has been a crazy week of growth in the garden. So let's take a walk around and see what's happening. It has been a super rainy week here and the plants have mixed feelings. I feel like a lot, some of them are really enjoying all of the moisture, all that hydration that they need to grow, but some other plants like the tomatoes might be, you know, a little overwhelmed with how much water we've been getting. So let's see how everyone's doing. I mean, the sweet potatoes, I love it. They're thriving. Now, I'm very much for organic gardening. I consider myself an organic gardener. I don't really like using pesticides or anything to control, you know, the natural order of things. So our sweet potato has been getting quite chewed up. I'm not really sure who the, what the culprit is, but I mean, it's still growing super, super well. So unless I see things like significantly dying or like just not not thriving i don't really feel the need to interfere i feel like they're still growing very healthily super abundantly with that said the eggplant on the other hand was taking a beating from our flea beetles but they are doing so much better now gonna lift this up and let's take a look guys the eggplant is thriving so with the intense issues that we have with flea beetles, tenting and the fly tape really, really helped out. Um, late last week, I actually went in and I pruned our eggplants. So I cleared a lot of the leaves that were growing in the center because I just want really good airflow throughout the plant. And with a lot of the dying leaves or the leaves that were chewed up by the flea beetles, you know, taking away those, those leaves that I really felt was like, consuming energy really helped redirect energy to the new growth on the plants and as you can see it's doing much much better oh i don't know if you can see those little black spots those are flea beetles haven't completely ridded ourselves of them i actually need to get more fly tape but when i see them i just pluck them off and crush them <laughs> um but really the fly tape and tenting has helped and over here, i believe this is this is our ichiban eggplant and it is flowering and over here we have our shiku eggplant and we're actually getting fruit oh the sun just came out look at this oh my gosh this is a smaller eggplant it doesn't grow as big as the black beauties so they're really popular to use in stir fries oh my gosh look at this Guys, I was so determined. I told you we were gonna have eggplant and here we are. I'm so excited. It's doing so well. And it's especially loved the pruning. Here we have our burgundy bush beans and they're finally starting to take off. I'm very happy. And the corn, oh man, the corn. The black maize is starting to tassel, so silks are going to be coming up very soon. Wow. Let's see. And the companion planting between beans, the pole beans, and the corn is starting to take effect. So here you can see how the pole beans are climbing up the corn. This does not hurt the corn at all. It's actually quite beneficial because the beans release nitrogen back into the soil and corns need quite a lot of it to grow healthy and abundantly. So super excited. We have some cobs that are really, really developing now. Getting really big. Especially on the peaches and cream. What did I say? Oh man, look at this. This one's huge. Wow. Not sure to not sure exactly how to tell when the cobs are ready. I know these aren't necessarily that close. But if I think I was reading if you look at the corn and you poke one of the kernels, if it come if the juice that comes out the kernel is creamy, 
that means the corn is ready. If it comes out clear and watery, the corn stalk still has some growing to do. So, I'm really sad, I'm heartbroken. Literally overnight, the cabbage worms completely demolished our Brussels sprouts. So, don't be too alarmed by what you're about to see. Ah! Literally, they got completely chewed up and they looked fried. So I actually cut a lot of the chewed up leaves off. I've been spraying them off like continuously, but these cabbage worms are relentless. Look at what's left. <laughs> there is still new growth coming in, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I did order BT. Um, what is it called? It's like bas bas Basilicus, Bacillus, Thurogensis, something along those lines. Don't quote me on it. I'll probably write the correct writing somewhere here. Um, but I ordered it and it's taking some time to get here and I don't know if my Brussels sprouts will <laughs> make it that long. But once I get it, I'm going to use it and see how it works, see if it can save my Brussels sprouts because they're in desperate need of some saving. I think for next year, I'm definitely going to tent all of our brassicas because um, the best way to fight cabbage worm is prevention. Just making sure none of those little white moths land and lay their eggs and give us the worm. The okra is doing super well. I was actually looking at a few of them and I'm not sure if you can really tell if this can like really give you a crisp, clear, but there are these little white gel looking balls, little spheres. And when I first saw them, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, what insect? <laughs> what now? What insect is laying its eggs on my okra? But after doing um, a little bit of research, this is actually a good thing. Oh, I don't know if you can see it there. See the little white spots, little clear, clear spots. Um, this is actually a good sign. It means that the okra is healthy and it's actually secreting a sap which attracts a certain bacteria that actually helps it get more nutrients and helps its growth. So if you've been following along, you've been seeing that I've been hand pollinating a lot of our zucchini rampicante just to ensure that they are getting pollinated. And guys, look at this. Oh, it's huge. I'm pretty sure this is like ready for plucking any day now. Um, I'm not sure how big it's going to continue to get, but they grow so fast. This is crazy, 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 crazy. Continuing down, the cucumber is also super happy. I didn't expect it to, to, to grow so prolifically. And another, another fruit that just like pops up overnight. Remember that little cucumber I showed you? Look at this. I mean, oh my god, that's huge. Literally less than a week and it's gotten this big. And our pollinators have been doing such a great job. I've been, I've been finding so many new fruit on the daily. Same with our melons. Oh my god. Thank goodness this one's actually growing on the ground. Because we had one that was hanging and I didn't hammock it in time and it literally snapped off because it was so heavy so there are a lot of fruit here growing there's another one there like that one is very susceptible to snapping off when it gets too big so i am actually gonna go buy um some netting probably some like makeshift netting probably like some pantyhose or something something that's elastic and can stretch out as the melon grows and i'm gonna attach it on two sides here so that it can act as a hammock for the melon to to grow well and not snap off. It needs support. So I'm here to help it out. Down to our peppers. These are doing super well. I'm noticing they're starting to change color a little bit. So they'll be ready soon, I hope. Still producing flowers, so it's just gonna keep giving. Keep on giving. Wow. 
It's so beautiful how it literally creates a fence. Oh, what? See, I didn't even know this was here. Another one, y'all. We're gonna have a lot of melon. Checking in on our tomatoes. They seem to be doing well. I have noticed a few of them with some like strange spots or like the flower tops are getting like crusty. Um, I have, like this one has some few, a few little spots there. I might be getting flower rot. And doing some research that happens when um, the tomato isn't getting enough calcium. So I'm actually going to go to the store later today and get some powdered milk and mix it in with some water. Make sure it's low fat or no fat. Uh, mix it with some water and I'm going to give it a calcium boost and hopefully that'll help any new growth from getting flower rot. But over here, these seem to be doing well. They're starting to change the color. Oh yes, we're gonna have some summer sandwich, y'all. Still no updates on our Cherokee purple. She is a picky one. I have tried hand pollinating it a few times with a Q-tip, wiggling around a few things. But I think the combination of the crazy heat that we've been getting and the humidity has made it difficult for this strain of tomato to take off. But I'm still hopeful. We still got some time left. The strawberry bed is really happy. I have noticed a few of them. Um, two of the plants, I think, got a fungus and a lot of like, it's actually looks like this. Like the whole plant got it, so I actually just like trimmed it completely and am having it start from scratch because they are prolific growers. They can just keep coming back. Um, but I'd rather just snip them all off so it doesn't spread to our other plants because these are actually doing quite well. This one had it as well. But the other ones are doing very well. I'm learning so much this year and I feel like next year is going to be even more abundant. It's been an incredible first year in the garden, but we are definitely learning a lot of lessons along the way. Um, it can be pretty easy to get discouraged or unmotivated when things aren't going your way, and that's okay. But allowing yourself to just be teachable and, and really learn those lessons and allowing yourself to grow from them is really, I think, the best mindset and perspective you can give yourself in the garden and in everyday life, there's really only so much you can control. Keep giving your all, keep giving your best, keep giving your love, and the garden will reciprocate that. It will give you that abundance in fruit and vegetables. So with that, I am going to go tend to the garden now. Um, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Please comment, like, and share your thoughts and keep spreading the inspiration for gardening. We need it now more than ever. Take care.